I won't make it easy for you now. You got to me. Welcome back to the channel. We have been very busy over here. Last night, my son, who's a senior and plays football for a 2A school, had a football game out of town, and we didn't get home till like one in the morning because where they were playing, there was no place to stay. It was booked, so we had to drive back. And they lost. This was the first time that um, the school that he goes to has gone this far with 11-man football. Um, I feel awful, but I don't know how far they got. I just know that if we would have won last night's game, we would play play another game, and then if we would have won that, then we would have been in the state championship game. So whatever you call that, how, how far we got. So it was sad, and we set out in the freezing cold, and I woke up with kind of a sore throat, so I wasn't feeling too well, but I can't relax. I love to clean, which brings me to why I am sitting in the bathroom. I decided that I wanted to give our bathroom just a little makeover type thing because it's probably the one place that is neglected the most. But before I get onto that, I do have my Dyson, it's a DC 65 Animal Complete vacuum and it went out. It went out last week. It's the one on the ball. Loved it. Don't know what's what happened. I had it for years. Before I had um, before I got this vacuum, I had the Dyson Animal. It wasn't the ball one, it was the purple one. Now they have the Dyson 2, and that vacuum was great. But I felt like the suction was so hard that it would, I felt like it was lifting up the carpet, especially when I went from carpet to tile. I felt like it was lifting the edges up, but it got every single piece of animal hair. My husband, he, this is what happened to it while we had to get this one. I get, I think cereal spilt with milk. He you got paper towels, cleaned the milk up, and then for some reason got the vacuum out and decided he was going to vacuum the soggy cereal, which I think with any vacuum, you should never vacuum anything wet. So that pretty much ruined that vacuum, but thankfully I had it for about six years before he broke that one. Got this one, had it for years. It broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just won't turn on. I do vacuum a lot. I just, I like it. So then I read a lot of reviews. I needed to order a new one. And I was seeing a lot about the um, cordless. And I, I thought I'd give it a try. I got the Dyson V8 Animal one and had it for about, I don't know, five days and I hated it. It didn't stay charged long at all, maybe for like 20 minutes at the most. Well, actually let me take about maybe 15 minutes at the most on the high power. And when I vacuum, I like to do all the rooms or all the tile in it. I couldn't, basically I couldn't even leave the kitchen. The thing would die. So uh, Bed Bath & Beyond was great. I called them and told them I had used it for about three days and I don't like it. So they said, bring it back and we'll get you a new one. And I told them I wanted one with a cord. I'm old school like that. So I got this one right here. It's not an animal one. So this will be my first Dyson that's not an animal one, but I'm excited to use it. So when we picked it up today, I wanted to use it and we had a rug come in. I ordered it from Amazon from, I don't know, this brand or company to go in the bathroom and it came in. So I figured I might as well clean the bathroom and give it a little makeover. Here's what the bathroom currently looks like. I don't like the greens. It's pretty bare, but I'm a minimalist. I don't like a whole lot. The rug that was in here is in the wash and I'll just save it and put it in the closet just in case if something happens to the new one, I can pull it out. Here's the counters. So I'm not gonna do anything too big with it, but it just needs you know, a little TLC in here. this to clean the bathtub 
and a magic eraser. I wish I would have filmed this, but I didn't. This was the green, it was a green bottle and had a candle in it, and I wanted it clear. So I Googled how to do it, and it said to boil like six tablespoons of white vinegar with six tablespoons of water, and the wash rag wasn't working, so I used one of these, and it came off super fast, and then I used the blade to get into these little cracks right here. But it came out clear and it was perfect. I might not like this, but this is where I'm gonna start. I already had this vase and I had this cotton. I love the like cotton decor. It makes everything look very clean and fresh. That bottle that I took the green paint off of, added a candle on top, and then I had this one. I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond today, and of course exchanged the vacuum cleaners, but I also got some towels that I hope turn out the way that I'm wearing. project that I'm working on. I spray painted this black picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you the picture I'm going to put inside of it and this little decoration that I'm going to put on the outside of the frame. Here's the picture that's going to go inside the frame. I am going to glue this rose on the outside of the frame. That was a rose that uh, he gave me on senior night. While the frame is drying, I'll go ahead and clean off my vanity area. And I'll use this to clean the mirror. Okay, if you have watched some of my vlogs, you have seen Pirate. This is my baby. Yes, she is a big kitty. She's right here with me. And a dear friend of mine painted a picture of her and I absolutely love it. I went to Hobby Lobby, framed it, went to an antique store. Actually, I've had this for a long time and thought it looked perfect next to her. Kevin's side of the sink 
and I like to be very organized. And so painter's tape and boxes like paper boxes is great to label because if something changes, you can rip this painter's tape up without ruining the box. Here's Luke's picture frame of me and him. We decided to go to Walmart just to get a white frame because the spray paint wasn't working since it was so cold. And I trimmed the rose that I got on senior night. Super glued it to the frame. Okay, so I vacuumed the floors, I swiffered it. Let's unroll the rug that I got. And I do believe it is 10 feet long. Yes, it, I think it's a little too long, but it'll do. There we go. Here's the finished little touches. Candles. Yes, my guilty pleasures. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of that. Here's that carpet runner. Nothing changed with the shower toilet. Kevin's side. After a long week and weekend, I'm going to end the vlog here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see y'all later.